Okay, I'm going to do a short review on this AmeriKit AK100 Learn to Solder Kit and build a flashing European siren. I'm going to give this a A plus rating uh, for someone who's just beginning. And here's what comes in the kit. Of course, the uh, board to build on and to practice on comes with it. It also comes with a small pair of flush cut. They're not quite flush cut, but it's a nice pair of wire cutters. It also comes with some uh, lead-free solder, which I don't really like. It's uh, It has a higher melting temperature than like a 6040 or 6337 combination uh, solder flux. It also <clears throat> does not come with a good pair of wire strippers. You need that if you're going to build something. But it does come with a 25 watt soldering iron, which I'm not going to use. I got my good uh, Hacko that really works much better than one of these. This is a plug in the wall. But that comes with a kit. And let's take a look at the, the manual. It's a solder practice kit model SP1A. And it goes, it, uh, I must say it has a really, really good manual. Everything is explained. All the parts are listed. It's got resistors, capacitors, semiconductors, and the miscellaneous, the uh, PC board, uh, speaker, wires. And it shows the parts identification right down here. Excellent. But the one failing it has, it shows you how to read a resistor by color. Now this one's supposed to be brown, green, red, and gold. This one's supposed to be brown, black, yellow, gold. But they show it in black and white. Now that's the only thing I would have put a color picture in there. Kind of hard to read color in black and white. But all the other things in this manual are really good. It goes over exactly what to do. It gives you practice soldering tips. It makes you practice solder. And it gives really good instructions. It gives a schematic and it takes you step by step everything you have to do I have to solder on that board is step by step right through to the end and let's see how this thing turned out okay you do have to hook a 9 volt battery up to this thing so let's see how it worked I should get lights and sound from this thing Okay, there's the lights. Hooked up the 9 volt battery. I do have the flashing lights. Now I'm going to turn the potentiometer up. Okay, so that thing works. Only took me about two hours to put that thing together. It's a really great training aid and. I'm just going to show you uh, the board that the resistors and capacitors come on. And one of the good things about this is they sent two extra resistors. There's one right there and one right there that do not fit anywhere on this board. I like the way they did that. It makes you kind of think, you know, if you did something wrong. But then you need to plug it all together. Should work just like that. Okay, that deserves a little bit of cowbell. Knuckle bump.